What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron Nitmar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we came here to Goron City. We stopped Link the Goron, uh, who gave us this nice red tunic, which is now heat, which is apparently heat resistant. And uh, we learned that uh, there was a secret passage behind here in Darunia's room, uh, which should lead to the Fire Temple. So let's go ahead and head on in here, because the Gorons need our help. Um, because they are indeed being... Uh, being enslaved by Ganondorf, and he's threatening to have them all be eaten by a dragon named Volvagia. So we can't we can't let that happen. So go ahead and grab your hook shot and a hook shot across, hook shot across right there, and land right here on the bridge. Let's keep going. It is something that grows over time, a true friendship feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero of Fire. We have learned the Bolero of Fire. Blink, I'll see you again. Alright, so now that we have learned the Bolero of Fire, you can see that there is a uh, Triforce pedestal right here. So we are going to be able to transport ourselves right here, retransport ourselves right here. So the first thing that we want to do is, uh, now that we have the Bolero of Fire and now that we have the Prelude of Light, we'll be able to uh, travel back into uh, back seven years. So what we're going to want first is some bugs, though I don't think there will be any bugs in this volcano. No. All right. So what we want to do is play the Prelude of Light, which uh, escapes me. I haven't played this game, or I have, I, I've never been one to remember the songs. Okay, I remember it. All right, and with uh, our playing of the Prelude of Light, we'll be able to warp back to the Temple of Time. And now that we're back in the Temple of Time, we want to head over here, past the uh, the three spiritual stones, to the the pedestal of time. And if we go ahead and drop our sword, we'll be able to travel seven years into the future, or er, seven years into the past. I'm sorry, we'll be able to travel back to our childhood. So let's do it. And now we're back as a small child. Yes, a very small child. We have back in our green tunic and our little Kokiri sword because we aren't big enough to hold the master sword. And so what we want to do... Well, first thing we want to do is go find bugs because I don't have any bugs with me and we need, we're going to need bugs to, uh, to do what we need to. So uh, I believe there should be bugs coming around here in this uh, general area. I think in Hyrule Town Market, there will be some rocks we can get bugs from. Or at least patches of grass, if anything. Quit barking! Um, right, I'll just meet you guys when I find bugs, so be right back. Thank you. 
It is insurmountable to me how something as common as bugs could take a trip to the Lost Woods to actually finally get some. Oh my gosh, it took me forever to freaking find these bugs. I traveled... Alright, it took me like five, five, literally five minutes. Alright, so now that we have gotten our bugs, we want to go ahead and play the Bolero of Fire again. We're going to be, have, uh, we're going to be on sort of a timeline because we can't wear the uh, Goron tunic because we are a child and it'd be way too big for us. So we're going to be on a timeline as, as to uh, how quickly we'll be able to do this. So, let's go ahead and play the Bolero of Fire. And warp to Death Mountain Crater. Link, it's so hot in here, we can't stay for long! You're right, we can't stay for long, so we're gonna have to go and find that patch, which is right here. Drop a bug in it. Luckily the cutscene doesn't wear down on our time. Catch one of the three bugs that somehow appear. Alright. Roll out of the way. We'll jump out of the way or something along those lines. Come on! Alright, there it is, and kill it! Come on, kill it. What are you doing? Kill it. Alright, there we go. Gold Sculptula. Alright, and now we can go ahead and uh, plant a magic bean, which will be useful in actually just a minute. So there we go. Alright, so we've, we've done everything we can here. Let's go ahead and play the Prelude of Light. And return to the Temple of Time. Alright, back in the Temple of Time. And I feel it's fitting that I've shown uh, going into the past. We might as well go into show what, uh, blah, 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 blah. We might as well show what uh, going back to the future is like. Alright, and there we go, back in the future. So, now we can go ahead and play the Bolero of Fire once again. And we're gonna go ahead and warp to Death Mountain. So now that we've, uh, back in the future, this thing has been planted here, so we go ahead and go right here. We turn around right here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Alright, and again, we can go ahead and pick up our piece of heart. Although you can't see me, there I am. Piece of heart. Three pieces, one more, and we'll get another heart. Alright, and I don't know what Link is standing inside of. I think if. Is that smoke or something? I have no idea. But at any rate, let's go ahead and just uh, roll back down. Alright, and let's go ahead and head in here. What's in here, you ask? Well, it's none other than... Screw ladders! Uh, the entryway to... The Fire Temple. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Coming up these stairs, we'll notice we have only two doors. An open one, and a locked one. So obviously we can only go through the open one, so let's go ahead and do so. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is, Link! You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now is not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon, Volvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up with Evil Dragon. I'm concerned though because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner's cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Link.
And that's it. He entered the boss door without the boss key. What? What? How did he do that? All right. So, uh, if we go over there, there are pots with fairies in them. But I really don't think I'm actually going to play it safe. And there's actually something else we have to do over there anyway. So, might as well go ahead, hop up here. And hop over here. And let's go ahead and not drop the bug. We still have one fairy, but two is better than one, as they say. And bombs, so obviously we're going to be needing the Goron crop. Alright, there we go. And we can use this fairy to heal us up if it wants to come near me. There we go. Alright, so if we go back this way. Pop up there. What are you doing? The Goron tunic also, if you can see, uh, allows us to walk in lava for some time without being hurt. We'll still get hurt, but it will actually just resist... Uh, it'll increase the time that we have to not be hurt. Alright, it looks like one of the Gorons here is, uh, trapped. Let's see what he says. Please don't eat me. If you eat something like me, you'll get us a stomach ache. You'll be sorry. Let's go ahead and free him. What's up? Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillars stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. So if we have to get over there and do something about that pillar, how did Darunia get over there? Oh well. Look at man, man, logic, logic. Alright, open it this up. And we'll go ahead and be getting our first small key. So then we can go ahead and open the door that's all the way across on the other side. Let's go ahead and make our way back. Since we can't get over there yet, we're going to have to find the room that that Goron we freed was talking about. Um, to, so basically what we need to do is get this to drop down to make a platform for us to be able to jump over there. But we're going to have to go to a room above it, like he said, to do that. So let's go ahead and head over. Now we can open this up. Let's go ahead and pull out our bow so we can snipe these uh, keys while we're here. Aw, oh, crap. Ah, uh, take that, and let's see if we can snipe this one. Ready? Snipe! Yeah, take that, that's what you get. That's what you get. Your brother burned me, I killed you, and your brother. Pay for the brother's sins, as they say. Alright, so now this room may look intimidating, but it's actually very, very minuscule when you actually put it into perspective. Uh, it's pretty much just a, a huge nuisance, just to get you from one room to another, and then to another. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump over here. And no, that didn't really work. So, let me... See, we, we as you can see there, we got hurt. So, while uh, we don't get hurt as often... Go! We still have to... We still get hurt. So, I mean... It's not bad. I mean, it's not as bad, but it still can be bad. Alright. So, we're going to go across this bridge. And since we don't have any small keys, we can't get through that door. So, we're going to have to do something about that. And that something is, of course, find another small key. Let's go ahead and jump over here. And crap. Son of a... Alright, come on, 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 come on. What do you think you're doing? Ah! Alright, get off. Alright, it should come back in time, it should come back in time. Oh, there we go. And now this thing will push us over here and we'll be able to jump off into this lava, which I feel like we could have just, uh, done anyway. Alright, so now. Oh, what? As you can hear, if you guys remember from back when we first got the original, uh, we first got the Goron crop, uh, bombable areas will have, uh, will sound different. So if you, uh, this is the sound they make as opposed to, so you see that makes a different noise and a door revealed, obviously. A door is revealed, obviously. Alright, and we have another Goron. Hey, buddy. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in this temple that you are that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. Boy, they sure do love talking about their special crop. I swear. All right. There's another small key. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and head over here. Open up the door. Everybody walks the dinosaur. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Alright. 
Um, head on up over here, and we're gonna need to make our way to the other side. So let's go ahead and go over here. This way is far easier to get to. Just go like this, and go like this, and go like this. There we go. And we can enter this door here. And if we go in this door here, there is, or at least there should be, yet another Goron to save. So let's go ahead and grab him. Well, let's not grab him. Let's save him. That's disgusting. This is this is rated E material. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Here's a secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron's special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. So obviously we we're supposed to rescue that Goron first, but screw the rules, I am Link, and I know this game by heart. So let's go. Except not by heart. Alright. And there's another key. And now you may have noticed, uh, I sort of purposefully ignored the, the Song of Time block up there. Um, and uh, as we did in the... Yes, Navi, I see it. Yes, as we did in the uh, forest temple, we're going to need to play the Song of Time to get this to move, so... Let's go ahead and do just that. Alright, we'll play the Song of Time. And this block should transport itself here. Alright, hop up here. And go into this door and see what's in here. Hey, look! Tiles that move! And attack us! Yay! This is gonna be a long, long, long process. You can do this with your sword, but alternatively, it's just, it's, it's far safe. See, it's far safer to just use your shield. But, uh, who cares? Alright, and now we have a like-like. These enemies will suck you up. Take, uh, they'll take your tunic and your shield, and, uh, I believe if you don't do it in enough time, uh, they eat it forever. So, go ahead and grab that 20. And another, uh, another gold sculpture for us. Alright. Now let's go ahead and flip upside down, and there we go, grab that gold sculpture. Alright, so now that we've covered both sides of, uh, get in the door. Now that we've covered both sides of this room, as these are the only things to do in this room, actually. Um, in the main room, rather. Uh, I think we're gonna end this episode off as soon as I make my way over to the locked door. That door is open, so we want to go over to the locked door. Alright. Yeah, I don't care about fire anymore. I am Link, hero of the Gorons. Alright, hop up here. And next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we'll enter through this gigantic lock. And so, I will see you guys then. Have a fantastic day, and hope that a bat that's on fire doesn't come and kill you like this one's about to do. Take that! Flame Batman guy- Oh, I don't even know. I'm not even funny. I don't even know why I try. Alright, see you guys later. Have a great day.